हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू स्टडी आई क्यू वेलकम टू द थर्ड वीक ऑफ अक्टूबर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीक ब्रिक्स सबमिट जस्ट कंक्लूडेड लॉट ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट बुक्स इंपॉर्टेंट डेज अक्टूबर इज वन मंथ वेयर यू विल हैव लॉट ऑफ डेज यू नो यू देर आर लॉट ऑफ डेज एंड यू विल सी दिस ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो अराउंड हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी हाई क्वालिटी क्वेश्चन हैंड पिक बाई मी एंड दीज क्वेश्चन विल श्योरली हेल्प यू इन ऑल द एग्जाम्स सी करंट अफेयर्स इज समथिंग विच इज नॉट एंडमिक टू वन एग्जाम इट यू नो करंट अफेयर्स इज पार्ट ऑफ ऑल द एग्जाम्स so i keep uh, getting comments from students that pre please prepare current affairs for cds please prepare current affairs for ctet or any exam uh, you know and let me tell you that there are no special current affairs for any exams yes there are special current affairs for banking awareness or for you know insurance awareness but not for general current affairs these are part of all the exams you can be very sure you can be very confident after you go through my videos there is none better i can say that with lot of confidence because i proved myself again and again during the course of last one year in most of the exams almost 90 to 95% questions uh, come from my videos and you can be sure that you will get the best explanation best quality and uh, i'll tell you a lot of uh, extra things also during the course of this the, you know this video which is uh, really the usp the unique selling proposition of my videos that i tell you a lot of extra points and in, from those extra points also a lot of question come in the exam so let's begin you can follow me on facebook and uh, this is the url that you have to type in your browser www.facebook.com/gauravgargeducation and uh, now around 17000 people are following me on facebook and they take part in uh, day to day discussion day to day activities uh, please note that i don't limit myself to studies so there's lot more uh, and i give my opinions also on lot of things so make sure that uh, when you join it's not a it's not a page it's a profile and uh, it's not a page where there is just a discussion about education there's a discussion about lot more things so uh, join only if you are ready to <laughs> handle my views anyways now we are launching new pen drives uh, clat we have been working with a uh, uh, very you know knowledgeable experts in this field in law and clat pen drive will be launched on 10th of november its price is 10000 however we will give you 2000 rupees waiver if you pre book the pen drive same with the cds nda cds and nda pen drives will take time it is not easy to you know prepare syllabus for both of these as the syllabus is very vast ctet kvs and dssb will be prepared by 1st of november so those students who are writing the kendriya vidyalaya exam or ctet or you know uh, dssb they can avail this it's a it's a beautiful course let me tell you we have partnered with uh, some of the best teachers and uh, they these teachers are very experienced in teaching uh, develop methodology you know teaching development child psychology child development etc these are the topics for, which form the bulk of the uh, courses these three courses and of course we have ibps po clerk the all government pen drive which is our best selling product if you wish to avail any pen drive right now we have a 25% discount till 30th of october only that is the uh, that is a diwali discount so you can call this number 9716523859 let me give you one more number 9580048004 so it is easier to remember 9580048004 or you can email to me gaurav.studyiq@gmail.com so let's begin without further delay first question the 2016 women of india festival has started in which of the following cities so women of india festival it has been started by uh, the ministry of women and child development that is called wcd ministry of women and child development and our cabinet minister for this is maneka gandhi she is our cabinet minister union minister of women and child development maneka gandhi and this uh, she uh, inaugurated this festival at delhi heart so this was in new delhi it was a 10 day festival and uh, they, it focused on organic products which were prepared by women so this is a kind of uh, a women empowerment what is the theme of 2016 world standards day wsd world standards day what was the theme of 2016 world standard day see world standards day is basically to spread awareness about the quality of products whether they match the international standards or not whether they are at par with international standards etc and this is very important especially in regard with respect to india however this is a world standard day and it is celebrated every year on october the 14th so the answer is 14th of october number 1 that you should remember because i am not make i have not made two separate questions out of this that on which date is celebrated you should know the theme also so i'll cover both these things in one question only uh, so the theme this year was standards build trust and isn't it true standards build trust so the answer is c shalya ahmed zai baloch 
very very fine player very fine fo uh, player football player she passed away recently very unfortunate she was only 20 21 years old and um, she had made a name for herself both because of her looks and her play in fact she uh, she became the first football player of this country to get a hat trick abroad when she played um, you know for a club in maldives in 2015 and she represented pakistan she was a striker she used to bang in a lot of goals and uh, a very very uh, fine player but unfortunately she died in a car accident in karachi so the answer is pakistan who won the shanghai masters final 2016 so this was won by andy murray andy murray is a player from scotland but in options sometimes you might not get scotland sometimes you might get uh, well britain you might get uk so mark accordingly andy murray very fine player he is also two times olympic gold medalist and uh, shanghai masters uh, well you know let me tell you something we are talking about tennis number one second um you know um, for the first time in 13 years roger federer and rafael nadal were not in the top four so i think you know uh, very soon uh, we might uh, see their retirement in, in fact both of their careers has been uh, declining has been plummeting in fact for the past 3 years djokovic murray nishikori and Stanley Wawrinka these are the top 4 in the world right now and for the first time in 13 years Roger Federer from Switzerland and Rafael Nadal from Spain are not in the top 4 Novak Djokovic is number 1 player he is from Serbia so these are some of the things about tennis which you should know which indian personality has been awarded for excellence in technical innovation by the international society of automation that is called isa international society of automation has awarded this indian personality for his path breaking research and uh, his research is basically in the field of uh, digitally controlled valve for precise liquid dispensing by gravity flow so this person is a pune based uh, scientist his name is satish pathak satish pathak he was awarded for excellence in technical innovation by the international society of automation isa the first ever brics bimstech summit was held recently in which state this is a very very positive step in fact i have made a brilliant video on brics and uh, i have covered everything it is a analytical video not a factual video so you will really enjoy this video if you are preparing for ias or any higher level exams and uh, bimstech is basically it is a association of countries which are around uh, the bay of bengal it is called bay of bengal initiative for multi factor you know multi sectoral technical corporation whatever so basically the thing is now india is not taking sark seriously because since its inception sark has not achieved anything significant but in sark pakistan is a roadblock but the, there are other countries also there are eight countries so excluding india and pakistan there are six more we want to engage with these six countries also but sark is not a forum so bimstech is a forum for that because out of these eight countries five are a part of bimstech therefore bimstech has gained a lot of importance only afghanistan pakistan and maldives are not part of bimstech so we need these organizations where we can reach out to other countries and where we can put forth our interest in fact let me tell you uh, brics bimstech wa uh, was the one that mentioned terrorism and not the brics so brics this time was a complete failure and brics bimstech was the real deal this time and we should uh, you know we should uh, also invite asean to brics we should also invite lot of other countries to brics so that we can uh, gain more and more cooperation so here uh, the first ever brics uh, summit this is an easy question this was the eighth brics summit and it was the first brics bimstech summit it took place in goa who was appointed as the director general of foreign trade recently so Uh, director general of foreign trade in short we also call dg ft you can also get he is a 1984 uh, 1984 batch is officer of assam meghalaya cadre his name is ajay kumar bhalla so the answer is b what is the theme of the world sight day sight means vision so we talk about blindness we talk about uh, avoidable curable blindness and these things uh, we raise these issues you know because the number of blind people has been increasing in the world sharply especially in developed countries because of diabetes diabetes is one of the biggest causes of blindness and uh, uh, you know so we focus a lot on these issues world sight day is celebrated every year and every year it is celebrated on 13th of october very very important and the theme this year was stronger together stronger together which of the following is the author of the book jihad in my saffron garden by the way what does jihad mean jihad means when you strive for something when you try to achieve something when you struggle for something that is called jihad so it's a very positive word unlike what the media portrays jihad in my saffron garden it is a, it is a book written by dr roxy aroda 
Dr. Roxy Aroda. And this book is about, it is a story of a fearless woman, you know, um, in Kashmir. So the answer is Roxy Aroda. By the way, first question for you. Arundhati Roy is writing a book which is being which will get launched in 2017. Can you tell me the name of the book? Which Arundhati Roy is writing after a long time, I think some 20 years. So this book will get launched in 2017. What is the name of the book? That is question number one for today. Who was awarded with the prestigious IAFP Young Scientist Scholarship Award 2016? IAFP, um, you know, Young Scientist Scholarship Award 2016. So basically, he's a he's an Indian scientist and uh, he has got this award for development of uh, novel oxygen absorbing package, you know, uh, in the field of active packaging for oxygen sensitive food products. And his name is uh, Kundalik Gaikwad. The answer is C. Kirti Raj Kundalik Gaikwad. India has recently signed a bilateral agreement for development of a network of agro irradiation centers with which country? So which country will help India to build up agro irradiation centers? And this is a bilateral agreement. It will benefit both the countries. This country is Russia, our good friend Russia. And uh, basically, uh, this uh, agreement has been signed with signed between the two. It has been signed with United Innovation Corporation, which is a subsidiary of Rosatom, Rosatom State Atomic Energy Corporation of India. So these are some of the companies which you should know. One is Rosatom, one is Rosneft. All these are very important Russian companies. And there is a Russian company which you know it is an antivirus company, Kaspersky. That is also a Russian company. Which state is observing Safe Motherhood Week? You know, Safe Motherhood Week, it is basically to provide all the necessary medical help to expecting mothers. This, this, These are very important issues because still we have very high infant mortality rate across the globe. And do you know that 50% of infant, infant mortality can be prevented just by uh, feeding the newborn child with mother's milk. So these are the, uh, these are important healthcare issues and uh, Safe Motherhood Week, this was celebrated from 14th of October to 21st of October for seven days by U Uttar Pradesh government. So the answer is Uttar Pradesh and very soon we'll have uh, elections in Uttar Pradesh also. Name the country that, uh, you know, that has formally joined China's One Belt, One Road project. One Belt, One Road project is China's dream project, the maritime project, the age-old Silk Road project, which has been reinforced into this time and age. And even CPEC is a part of One Belt, One Road. Our faculty, Dr. Mahipal Singh Rathor, has made a brilliant video on One Belt, One Road. Do check that out. And which country formally joined it? Well, it is Bangladesh. But why would they join it? Because China is investing 26 billion dollars in Bangladesh. So, uh, well, there's no harm joining One Belt, One Road initiative. And uh, in fact, the Eurasian European Bank, uh, which uh, India is trying to become a signatory to, uh, we are trying to increase our relations with that bank, that has also committed itself to OBOR. So India is finding itself a little isolated, you know, because Central Asia is supporting uh, One Belt, One Road. Uh, all the ASEAN countries are supporting it you know, we are, we are left isolated and our concerns are with respect to CPEC. So we must find a way to counter CPEC. The answer is Bangladesh. And in fact, China committed $26 billion just one day before, you know, uh, the BRICS summit when Xi Jinping went to Bangladesh. India has decided to eliminate the production of a potent greenhouse gas by 2030. Which gas it is? So let me tell you some uh, backdrop to this question. See, India is now a signatory to Paris Agreement. On 2nd October, we ratified the Paris Agreement, that is the COP21. Now, India is the fourth largest, uh, you know, polluter in greenhouse gas. And greenhouse gas are the gases which cause global warming, they deplete the ozone layer. And since India is now a signatory to Paris Agreement, there is a lot of, uh, you know, responsibility on us because this agreement will very soon become legally binding on us. So, India must reduce its greenhouse gas and the greenhouse gas that we have decided to reduce by 2030, in fact, not reduce, completely eliminate is hydrochlorofluorocarbon-23. So, you know, the ozone layer gets depleted by, uh, you know, chlorofluorocarbons, by greenhouse gases, by aerosols. So, and in Montreal protocol is about ozone depletion. So, and Kigali agreement has been uh, signed just day before yesterday by 170 countries. So, we have to be little careful. We should not uh, mess too much with the climate and therefore uh, we have signed the Paris agreement. There was a there was a monument called Shore Smarak. Shore means valor, bravery in English. Shore Smarak. Smarak means monument. So there was kind of a commemoration of a valor of our uh, our soldiers. And uh, this Smarak is being built 
recently it was inaugurated by a person no less than the Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi. It is situated in which state? So it is located in Bhopal which is the capital of Madhya Pradesh. So the answer is Madhya Pradesh. Which country has decided to freeze, stop cooperating with the UNESCO? Because it is accusing it of denying the Judaism's connection to the religion's holiest sites. So this Iran versus Israel thing is going on for a while now. And uh, Israel is accusing uh, UNESCO. So Israel has told that uh, UNESCO will not cooperate with you. UNESCO is United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization with its headquarters at Paris. And Israel is the country. The Prime Minister of Israel is a very important man these days. His name is Netanyahu. Netanyahu. And uh, Netanyahu, well, although Israel is one of the best friends of America, but the relations between Democrats in uh, America and Netanyahu are very sour. And uh, well, no wonder Netanyahu would be wanting a Trump win because he would want a Republican to win the elections. So the answer is Israel. Who has been appointed as the new head of ICICI Bank's retail division? So this guy basically, uh, he's appointed the new head and uh, he was the MD and CEO of another subsidiary of ICI, ICI which is called ICICI Securities. His name is Mr. Anub Bagchi. And the CEO of ICICI Bank as a whole is Chanda Kochar, who is also one of the most powerful women in the world. So do remember two women. The CEO of uh, ICICI is Chanda Kochar and the chairman of SBI is Arundhati Bhattacharya. These two are the one of, two of the most powerful women in India along with others like Indra Nui and uh, Kiran Majumdar Shaw and all these women. Okay, So the answer is Anub Bhagji. What is the theme of 2006 International Day of Rural Women? So, you know, this theme question will surely come in exam and I'll tell you why. Because the theme for International Day of Rural Women and for World Food Day is same this year. Yes, because they were uh, celebrated jointly and that is why this is like uh, hitting two birds with one stone. So, the answer for this is climate is changing, food and agriculture must too. Yes, climate is changing, therefore food and agricultural changes must be commensurate with the change in the climate. And uh, International Day of Rural Women, well, it is celebrated every year on 15th of October to raise the issues relating to the rural women for a woman empowerment, etc. 15th October. Please note the day. It is extremely important. 15th October is the day when we celebrate International Day of Rural Women. And we have been celebrating it, you know, since 2008. 15 October 2008 is the first time, was the first time when we celebrated the International Day of Rural Women. Name the country that made a decision to quit the commonwealth after warnings over the democracy. Hmm, interesting. So there are 53 countries in commonwealth of nations, UK dominated and uh, you know, the country which has decided to leave commonwealth is Maldives. Maldives. My second question for today, what is the capital of Maldives? What is the capital of Maldives? That is your second question for today. You have to write the answer in comments. What is the theme for World Food Day? That will be observed on 16th October. So that was observed because 16th October is passe now. So World Food Day, the theme was same. That is climate is changing, food and agriculture must too. This was the theme for World Food Day also and International Day of Rural Women also. Only one difference. World Food Day is not celebrated on 15 October. International Day of uh, Rural Women is celebrated on 15 October and World Food Day is celebrated on 16th of October. And why do we celebrate World Food Day? Because of the establishment of uh, Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO. The headquarter of FAO is in Rome and uh, FAO is very, very important uh, for world food security. So that's all you need to know. Which committee has submitted its report on the existence of Saraswati River to the United Government? So there is a place called Allahabad where Ganga, Yamuna and Saraswati River meet. That is what uh, the legend has it. There was always a doubt whether Saraswati River actually existed or not. And the answer is yes. At least this committee says so. That it is not only a mythological river. In fact, the origin of this river can be traced. That is what was said by this committee. This committee was headed by K.S. Valdia. So it was Professor K.S. Valdia committee. Very important question which was made to comment upon the existence of Saraswati River. Which Indian boxer has recently won the 2016 WBC Asia welterweight title? Welterweight. This is I'm talking about 60 kilogram category. That is welterweight category. And this Indian boxer is Neeraj Goyat. Neeraj Goyat. Often he is being uh, shadowed by Vijender Singh, but he is also very, very important. And Neeraj Goyat won this uh, WBC Asia welterweight title and he defeated Australian Ben Kite. It, the championship took place in New Delhi and it is his second professional title. He is a professional. That means he cannot 
participate in Olympics. And he won the uh, title in 2015 also. So he has defended the title and he has become the first Indian to defend his boxing title. The World Student Day is observed on which date? World Student Day is observed because, uh, you know, because on this day we have the birthday of one of the greatest Indians who ever lived, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. His birthday is celebrated as World Student Day and therefore this question now becomes very easy because I'm sure you all know when do we celebrate the birthday of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. It is October the 15th. By the way, let me tell you some interesting thing. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, we call him doctor, but he was not a PhD. But he got the honorary doctorate from 44 universities in the world. So that shows the metal, the stature of the man. He got an honorary doctorate for, from more than 40 universities in the world. So the answer is October the 15th. Who is author of the book? Half of what I say. Half of what I say. It's a story about, uh, you know, it's, a, it's basically a story based on politics and society and sociology and all that. And the author of this book is Mr. Anil Menon. Just mug this up, Anil Menon. Which country is... Uh, is collaborating with India, you know, regarding the projects for improving the rail connectivity. So read the question carefully. I'm not talking about bullet trains, that is Japan. I'm talking about improving the rail connectivity. So the answer is Germany. We are collaborating with Germany to improve our rail connectivity with our Indian ports. There are a lot of Indian ports on our western and eastern coast. Like we have the Nava Shabar, Jawaharlal Nehru port, Mumbai port, Kochi port, Vishakapatnam, Paradweep port and Haldia port. So we need to improve the rail connectivity to these ports. And now a question for you. India is buying Talgo trains from which country? We are buying Talgo trains from which country? That is question number three for today. Rashtriya Sanskriti Mahotsav 2016 has been started in which of the following cities? Rashtriya Sanskriti Mahotsav, in fact, it is still going on because uh, it, is, uh, it is 21st today and it is from 15th of October to 23rd of October. That is for, I think, nine days festival. And uh, it is only the second Rashtriya Sanskriti Mahotsav it is started in, uh, you know, Indira Gandhi National Center for Arts called IGNCA in New Delhi. So the answer is New Delhi and we'll focus on arts, painting and, you know, the folk dance, etc. Which bank has executed India's first banking transaction based on the blockchain technology? Blockchain technology is, uh, you know, it's complementary to Bitcoin which is also very advanced method of transferring money. So which bank has executed India's first banking transaction on blocking chain, blockchain technology? And this bank has done it in partnership with Emirates NBD. Emirates NBD is one of the most prestigious banks from the Middle East. So this bank is ICICI Bank, the largest private sector bank in India. The US Department of Transportation, it has banned which phone on the flights after there were reports that this phone used to catch fire. In fact, there were jokes on Twitter that this is a new grenade and I mean, this phone really caught fire in a lot of places, did damage to people, property and whatnot. This is Samsung Galaxy Note 7. And Samsung Galaxy Note 7 was recalled by the company. The thousands of pieces were recalled by the company because it has taken a huge hit on the reputation of the company. And uh, Samsung is a company from South Korea, just like LG, just like Hyundai car company. These are all companies from South Korea. With which country India has signed a defense deal worth nearly 39,000 crore to purchase five state-of-the-art S-400 Triumph air defense system. So this is a basically a missile defense system. If any country launches cruise missile, ballistic missile, helicopter or you know anything flying, uh, we, can, we can counter that now because we have one of the best advanced mi defense missile systems in the world because of Russia. So the answer is Russia. And why is Russia more important to us? Most important to us in fact because Russia is the only country that sells us state-of-the-art, the very very latest technology. America will sell anything to us. For example, if America is having a fifth generation technology, then it will sell its third generation technology to India. But Russia gives us all the latest. It is an all weather friend and we must not underestimate Russia. Now there was a Rus Russian consortium, which means Russian, uh, you know, there was a Russian group, which was led by their biggest oil company, which is called Rosneft. It is a PSU, public sector company, government company in Russia. It has agreed to acquire which India's debt ridden company. This is a debt-ridden company and they are investing 98,000 crore rupees in this company. In fact, they have bought 98% shares of this company. This company is SR Oil. SR Oil. The first ever BRICS under-17 foot, under football tournament was won by which country? So this tournament uh, is also one of the tournaments uh, and among these five countries only, 
and it has and the strongest team is of course brazil and brazil won the tournament easily brazil beat south africa in the final 5-1 this tournament took place in margao goa who will be the new brand ambassador of valvolin cummins india valvolin cummins india valvolin is basically a engine oil and lubricants company and their brand ambassador is virat kohli who is the test captain virat kohli so next question the 2016 india international knit fair it was held in which of the following states so basically this is a 3 day uh, you know 3 day event it just ended today 19th to 21st of october 3 day event and it was india international knit fair it took place in tamil nadu so the answer is tamil nadu and where in tamil nadu in tamil nadu there is a place called tirupur and by the way this was 43rd india international knit fair high court high court of which state has directed the service tax department to complete the process of reauction and sale of businessman vijay malya's private aircraft by december 15 so vijay malya is on the go <laughs> literally he is uh, fled uh, and his situation is very similar to sahara group's chairman uh, subrata roy and uh, they both are a disgrace to indian ecosystem indian business ecosystem vijay malya's private aircraft court has said that it needs to be reauctioned and uh, which court said it bombay high court so the answer is maharashtra they are asking high court of which state so india had uh, in uh, august an inflation of uh, i think uh, it was uh, 3.74 yes there was 3.74% gain in the wholesale inflation but it decreased a little in september 2016 so what was the inflation what was the increase in price in wholesale in the month of september 2016 the answer is 3.57% 3.57% smriti rani who was previously the human resource development minister cabinet minister now she is the textile minister smriti rani has inaugurated which in you know Uh, she has inaugurated india international silk fair do you know that india is the second largest producer of silk and let me tell you the we need to rear silk worms that is called sericulture sericulture means rearing of silk worms to get silk so smriti rani has inaugurated india international silk fair in which city this took place in new delhi the union government has decided to use the postal network for distribution of what this is a out of a box step and this decision was taken uh, recently in a meeting which was headed by the union consumer affairs secretary his name is mr hem pande this meeting took place in new delhi and they they decided that postal network our huge network of post offices can be used for distribution of uh, pulses so the answer is pulses which state recently celebrated kumar purnima festival kumar purnima festival is celebrated in odisha and this is basically a festival festival where the you know the young unmarried girls they wear new clothes and they pray to the sun and the moon to get a good match good life partner in future so a traditional game called puchi is also played on this occasion uh, in the rural part of uh, odisha so the answer is odisha as per the world economic forum which is the safest country of the world safest country safest country of the world as per world economic forum let me ask you the fourth question where is the headquarter of world economic forum that is the fourth question for today and as per the world economic forum the safest country is finland the capital of finland is helsinki it is a small scandinavian country bhutan japan austria they are inconsequential bhutan is the happiest country definitely uh, and uh, the second safest country in the world is qatar with its capital at doha it is a country from middle east and the third safest country is united arab emirates united arab emirates so these are the three safest countries in the world india is buying one of the best and the biggest helicopters in the world they are called kamov k a in short kamov 22060 from which country well there is only one all weather friend russia the president of russia is putin the currency of russia is ruble which has been on the decline for a while now which public sector bank which government bank in india there are 27 public sector banks in india which bank has appointed pv sindhu olympic silver medalist and shrikant they both are shuttlers both are badminton players so as their brand ambassador which bank has done this the bank's name is bank of baroda bank of baroda it has been in making huge losses no wonder they need brand ambassadors and we hope the bank does well mark weber one of the great players of this sport he also won the world endurance championship he recently retired from which sport very you know almost he died he died almost died in a race 
so formula 1 racing i'm talking about formula 1 car racing mark weber the legendary formula 1 racer which malayali writer has been awarded matra bhumi literary award for 2016 matra bhumi literary award 2016 it has been given to a person who is not only a writer but he's also a film director his name is c radhakrishnan he writes in malayali the state language of kerala what was the theme for 2016 brick summit so the recently concluded brick summit which was well let's put it this way it was not exactly as successful as we thought it would be what was the theme for this year's brick summit the theme was building responsive inclusive and collective solutions building responsive inclusive and collective solutions this was the eighth brick summit and next year it will take place in china on which date international day for the eradication of poverty is observed this is one of the most important questions and this is one of the most important days that is asked in the exams so on which date international day for the eradication of poverty is observed it is observed every year uh, the first time it was observed was in 1993 and why this day is very important because it is celebrated by united nations so it is celebrated every year on 17th of october with which country india has signed two you know memorandum of understanding one is for the cooperation on water resources and second is uh, you know there is a promotion of the cooperation between the two organizations one of india one of this country so the indian council of world affairs and its uh, you know it's this country's counterpart so which country is this this country is hungary the capital of hungary is budapest and on 16th october they signed these two memorandum of understanding so especially with respect to water resource this one is very very important which indian shuttler shuttler means badminton player clinched the men's singles title at the chinese taipei open badminton championship which concluded recently it is the indian shuttler saurabh verma saurabh verma which company recently launched india's first indigenous electric bus indigenous means manufactured in india made in india our own and uh, electric bus it will have 0% carbon emission because it is run by 100% electricity and this bus was launched by ashok leland ashok leland which of the following was appointed as the member of international olympic committee's athletes commission so it's a rare honor not many indian people have been uh, you know in the past uh, given the membership of athletes commission but this player has been given she is none other than olympic bronze medalist saina nehwal who won the bronze medal in the last edition of olympics 2012 name the actor who will be awarded uh, the 44th charlie chaplin award for the year 2016 by the film society of lincoln center this is 44th chaplin award and it will be bestowed upon the great legendary actor robert de niro robert de niro india completed its nuclear triad by inducting which of the following submarine into the service submarine is that uh, you know that is uh, partially uh, drowned in the in the sea uh, partially submerged and uh, the nuclear triad is uh, completed and uh, this submarine uh, is called INS Arihant it is also indigenous made in india built by india very very important it was launched in 2009 by manmohan singh and uh, since then it has undergone lot of changes kijali nadin durwa recently passed away and he was the king of which country very important question don't confuse because the king of thailand has also just passed away his name was different and this person was king of rwanda rwanda a small country in africa so this is an extremely important question and if you remember the rwandan genocide hutu versus tutsi i think it was around 1992 shenzo 11 shenzo 11 it is a manned spacecraft and it has been successfully launched by which country so this aircraft goes along with long march in fact in the exams i have found two times that they have asked long march is a rocket carrier of which country the answer to both of these questions is china so the answer is china which bollywood actress has been given this honor it is called et panash trend setter award and panash trend setter award though this award has been given to lot of people like deepa karmakar who is a gymnast devender jhajaria who performed very well in paralympics uh, divyang thorakia you know vijay shekhar sharma who is the founder of paytm but when it comes to bollywood only one person got it she is an actress her name is sonam kapoor sonam kapoor the 2017 indian science congress which is called isc 
it will be held in which of the following states indian science congress this will be 104th indian science congress and it will take place from 3rd of january to 7th of january in shri venkateshwara university in tirupati andhra pradesh andhra pradesh which among the following countries cricket team recently became the world's first team to play 901 days so this this uh, country's cricket team has played 901 days and to achieve this feat it has become the first team this is our own indian cricket team we have played the most number of one day matches in the history of cricket the first cricket test match was uh, played between australia and england and the first one day was also played between australia and england india played its first one day match in 1974 and india won the world cup in 1983 of course name the grappler grappler means wrestler from india who clinched the gold medal in 60 kg category at the 6th edition of the tafisa world games in jakarta indonesia 60 kg category at the 6th edition of the tafisa world games in jakarta indonesia capital of indonesia is jakarta so who is this wrestler from india who won the gold medal his name is dalmia name the city in which prime minister narendra modi launched the national schedule ka schedule tribe hub and uh, this is basically for the micro small and medium enterprises and he also launched a scheme which is called zero effect on environment scheme both of these schemes were launched in uh, popular city of ludhiana of ludhiana in punjab so the answer is c which state has decided to roll out biometric authentication for receiving the food grains under the pds to provide national food security act to implement national food security act from january 2017 onwards which state is making this effort to digitize so to say Uh, to have a biometric authentication this is odisha odisha who has been conferred with the v krishna murthy award for excellence by the center for organization development which is called cod this center for organization development is in hyderabad csir director general r a mashrekar he is a csir director general former of course and he has been conferred with v krishna murthy award for excellence and this uh, Uh, is in hyderabad the center for organization development the award was first started uh, to recognize the excellence in management uh, in the year 2000 farm tourism scheme has been started by which state government of india farm tourism is basically if you have a registered farm house you can uh, use it as uh, you know a tourist spot and you can earn money this is to promote rural tourism this has been sp- started in bjp government in haryana under the leadership of ml khattar national summit on fortification of food it was inaugurated in which city fortification of food means when we add certain elements to the food that is called fortification of food so national summit uh, for this was recently held where it was held by fssai which is food safety and standards authority of india in association with central ministry and it took place in new delhi the first national tribal carnival it uh, the first national tribal carnival uh, it uh, you know it will be celebrated on 25th of october that is after 4 days and it will be in which state of or city of india this is basically to you know uh, promote the culture of our tribes and it will be held on october 25th again in new delhi who has been appointed as the ambassador of india to the united nations conference on disarmament disarmament so united nations conference on disarmament is uh, um, you know its headquarter is in geneva switzerland and this is the body of uh, united nations which uh, you know which, uh, um, which uh, encourages the countries to you know not go into an arms race and uh, india's ambassador to this important body will be mr amandeep singh gill who is a ifs officer of 92 batch so the answer is amandeep singh gill who is the writer of the book jinna often came to our house so this is about the founder of pakistan who is uh, jinna is also called founder of pakistan muhammad ali jinna and uh, you, this is uh, a book about his life this is like a biography on his life it is written by kiran doshi the answer is b kiran doshi how much fund will be provided by world bank to bangladesh to fight child malnutrition malnutrition it is a global issue not endemic to india alone however in the recent report even india faces severe malnutrition severe growth stunting in children and disease of course but this time it is about bangladesh world bank is giving a loan of 1 billion dollars to bangladesh to fight malnutrition 
what is the name of the kigali agreement that was reached by more than 170 countries in october that amends a certain protocol so basically you know uh, kigali agreement is a is an amendment to this protocol which is about the how to you know lessen the greenhouse gases and how to prevent how to protect our ozone layer that protects us against the harmful ultraviolet rays especially the ultraviolet c which is lethal so this is the montreal protocol montreal is a place in canada and montreal has headquarters of world anti doping agency also if you remember so the answer is montreal protocol which of the following countries agreed for close security coordination with india in border areas keeping in view the sensitivities of each other's strategic interests so basically this is for border patrolling border you know security coordination india has signed a agreement with which country which of its neighbors so india has done it with myanmar myanmar election commission commission of india under the able leadership of naseem ahmed zaidi election commission's first ever international conference was held on voter education it was held in which city of india and our as i said our election commissioner is naseem ahmed zaidi very very able person and this conference took place in new delhi again and it was india's first ever international conference name the country that will be provided 2 billion us dollars by the world bank to tackle climate change which country is this so world bank has given a total loan of 3 billion dollar to this country 1 billion dollar to fight uh, you know malnutrition and 2 billion dollar to fight climate change again this is bangladesh which country has recently executed a prince for shooting a man during a fight or a brawl brawl is called a fight so the prince one of the prince of this country he uh, you know he had a fight he shot a man and that man died and this prince was given death sentence for that so this is saudi arabia the capital of saudi arabia is riyadh and saudi arabia is known for its very harsh and severe laws who of the following which of these following personalities has launched a political party called people's resurgence and justice alliance which is called prja very very important lady she broke her fast after a lot of years next question for today i think this is the fourth question after how many years this lady broke fast name is irom sharmila and irom sharmila as fast was against armed forces special powers act that is the atrocities committed by the army on the people of northeast so irom sharmila now has made a political party called people's resurgence and justice alliance which is called prja it is a new political party who was elected as the president of the north zone of urology society of india urology is the disease respect to kidney you know urinary tract um, so that's the, the urology part and for its north zone dr sp yadav dr sp yadav has been made its head he is a very noted urologist from gurgaon dr satya prakash yadav which of the following uh, was appointed as the dsp in haryana police which of these famous athletes were now in news for different reasons because a movie is releasing called dangal by amir khan and uh, the producer is also amir khan actor is also amir khan and this is a real life story based on the based on the life of mahavir fogat and uh, this is his daughter geeta fogat geeta fogat and uh, uh, her sister babita kumari are very able as a gold medalist in commonwealth though they have not been able to win a gold medal in olympics but very sure i'm very sure next time they will and very able wrestlers now a movie is being made on their lives called dangal which of the following oil and gas companies was recently granted a license to set up 3500 petrol pumps in india so which company which foreign company has got this license to set up 3500 petrol pumps across india and this company is called bp bp do you know that bp it is the europe's third largest oil company so the answer is bp the international union for conservation of nature which is called iucn recently declared which animal as critically endangered superb question critically endangered means an animal which is on the verge of extinction you know so there are criteria like extinct critically endangered you know vulnerable like that there are criteria in iucn critically endangered is kashmiri red stag kashmiri red stag as per a recent research and this is a path breaking research milk of which of the following mammal mammals are animals which feed milk to their young ones and they also have hair they have mammary glands so milk of which of the following mammals contains an arsenal of antimicrobial compounds 
that can give kill several drug resistant super bugs so these super bugs they cannot be killed with drugs but with the milk of this mammal which contains some antimicrobial compound which mammal are we talking about we are talking about the tasmanian devil tasmania is a place in australia prime minister narendra modi recently inaugurated three hydropower projects of 1752 megawatt capacity in himachal pradesh which of the following was not among these three projects so parvati hydropower project was there rampur project was there coal dam was there so bairus bara seol hydro electric project was not among these three so the answer is bara seol which of the following country will host ninth brick summit so as i said the next year brick summit tentatively it will be in september or in october date is not decided yet it will be in china and they can also ask uh, which uh, place in china so it the place name is xiamen it was announced by the chinese premier xi jinping 2017 ninth brick summit who is the author of the book which is called the legend of lakshmi prasad the legend of lakshmi prasad this is a book which is written by wife of akshay kumar and daughter of rajesh khanna twinkle khanna in which city the 10th india us trade policy forum um, 10th india us trade this was concluded it it just took place yesterday it concluded yesterday it was a two day event october 19 and october 20 this is basically to you know focus on the bilateral cooperation among in trade commerce etc and this was the 10th indian us trade policy forum it took place in new delhi again the cabinet of which middle east country has recently resigned the cabinet of which middle east country has recently resigned and the parliament has also been dissolved this is kuwait and now fresh elections will take place in kuwait the capital of kuwait is kuwait city so it is very important to remember jordan is capital is amman saudi arabia riyadh and iraq is baghdad which international airport in south india in the southern region has been awarded the third best airport in india and it has also been rated the best airport in south region so which is the best airport in south southern region of india it is the mangaluru international airport mangaluru international airport who world health organization with its with its headquarters at geneva it has it has uh, uh, you know urged the requested the governments of various countries to impose a tax on which food item because this food item can be very detrimental to the diabetes so if we have to check diabetes and diabetic patients around the globe which are increasing at an alarming pace at a stupendous pace we need to impose taxes on food products which increase diabetes this is sugary drinks sugary drinks which comic character which comic character will be named as the united nations girls empowerment ambassador this is a comic character which was which completed 75 years and on this occasion it was made the ambassador for as a sign as a symbolic you know girl empowerment amba- character this is wonder woman wonder woman how many medals were bagged by india at the tifsa world games held at jakarta so these are very important games and uh, indian wrestlers did a fantastic job we won four medals one gold one silver and two bronze one gold medal is important total we won four one gold medal and this one gold medal was won by very important wrestler dalmia he won the gold medal in the 60 kg category and uh, love singh a wrestler called love singh he won it in the 80 kg category then there were two medals Uh, which was won by josil and navni navin kumar you only need to know the only need to know the name of the gold medalist who is dalmia how many international level sophisticated sports center will be set up by the central government for divyang athletes divyang means differently abled disabled or the differently abled and how many national level sophisticated sports center will be set up so their number has been kept at 5 5 online travel company makemytrip.com it has acquired which company which which is this is an example of horizontal integration because they both belong to the same sector so make my trip has acquired ibibo.com for 1.8 billion that is i think around 11000 crore rupees which indian state has launched kaushalya setu initiative setu there is a full form for setu setu means self employment self employment and talent utilization scheme very important initiative this has this will uh, you know provide employment to as many as 7.5 lakh people in this state 
This has been launched by Devendra Fadnavis in Maharashtra. Who has been nominated by India as World Bank Managing Director and Chief Operating Officer for this position? So India has nominated which person as the World Bank Managing Director? The one of the one of the best brains, one of the best leaders in India, Arundhati Bhattacharya. In fact, she is so able that her tenure has been extended now. She was due to retire, due to retire, but her tenure has been extended by one year because the government wants uh, her to see out the SBI merger. Who won the Linz Open Tennis Tournament, which took place recently? Linz Open Tennis. It was won by a player from Slovakia. Her name is Dominika Sibukova. So the answer is a Dominika Sibukova. What is the theme of waste management campaign which is launched by the central government? Waste management campaign launched by central government. The name is Waste to Wealth. And this is in fact an initiative by our, you know, Minister for Social Justice and Empowerment, Thavar Chand Gehlot. Thavar Chand Gehlot. And this is an initiative to raise the salary, you know, to raise the income of uh, the rural folklore. So the answer is Waste to Wealth. Which of the following countries withhold the UNESCO funding over how the 1937 Nanjing massacre is remembered? See, 1937 Nanjing massacre, China says that Japan killed 300,000 people, Chinese. Japan says that nothing like this happened. And the international tribunal says that 1,42,000 people were killed by the Japanese. You know, Chinese people were killed by Japanese. So Japan is angry. Japan says that nothing like this happened. But China says 300,000 Chinese were killed, massacred by Japanese. So Japan was angry and Japan has withhold the UNESCO funding over how the 1937 Nanjing massacre is remembered. Which online baby care store? So this is a basically an electronic commerce, e-commerce, online shopping website, which is uh, which deals in baby care product. It is a website by Mahindra and Mahindra and this website's name is Baby OA. And it has been acquired now by another company, another online shopping website, which also operates in the baby care store. The name is First Cry. So first cry has bought Mahindra's baby OA, which is a baby care store online. And uh, this deal has been done for more than 350 crores. So you need not remember the, the amount, but if you want to, it is 362 crores. Indian Navy has commissioned which water jet fast attack craft, which is in short, it is called WJFAC which is this water jet fast attack craft which has been commissioned included in the Indian Navy. So the name is INS Tihau. INS Tihau. Scientists of which Indian Institute, they have done a remarkable research of producing electricity from water which does not even use energy. Without using energy, you can produce electricity from water. Scientists of which Indian Institute have done this? This research has been done by National Physical Laboratory which is again in Delhi. Who has been appointed as India's ambassador to the United Arab Emirates? India's ambassador to United Arab Emirates is Mr. Navdeep Suri, who was re who till recently was our High Commissioner to Australia. The International Cricket Council has decided to organize the first ever ICC Women's World T20 event in which year? So ICC has decided to organize this because, uh, you know, they have decided to organize ICC Women's World 20 event in 2020. And uh, this is because uh, recently there was ICC board meeting which con was conducted in Cape Town, Australia, where they decided this. Who has been given the credit or who has been accredited as the ambassador of India to the state of Eritrea? So right now he is uh, India's ambassador in Sudan. The capital of Sudan is Khartoum. Sudan is a country in Africa. And he will still have his house in, you know, he'll still operate from Khartoum. But now he's been accredited as the ambassador of India to Eritrea. His name is Mr. Amrit Lugun. Amrit Lugun. Which country has opened up its first wildlife sanctuary for elephants? It is a South American country. What is the name of the country? And uh, this country will have 50 giant elephants in this century. It is Brazil. Capital of Brazil is Brasilia. And uh, the, the head of state of Brazil, the president of Brazil, Michel Tamer, recently visited India for BRICS. Name the only Indian city which ranked 39th on Global Power City Index. So in the Global Power City Index, there was only one Indian city which made it to this list and that also on 39th position, it is Mumbai. Who was awarded 
with the 2016 International Golden Foot Award. Golden Foot Award was awarded to the legendary Italian goalkeeper and World Cup winner Gianluigi Buffon. Gianluigi Buffon. Which of the following companies has backed in Sustainable Manufacturing Award at the Make in India Awards 2016? Sustainable Manufacturing Award, Make in India Awards 2016. Which company got it? This company is Tata Steel, which has which has been in some trouble for the past five six years. It has been in continuous making losses, but it recently got Sustainable Manufacturing Award. Which company has developed first human-like speech recognition system? First human-like speech recognition system has been developed by Microsoft. Microsoft. The CEO of Microsoft is an Indian Satya Nadella from Hyderabad. Which of the following team has won Railway Shooting Championship Cup? World Railway Shooting. So the railways, railway teams of a lot of countries participated and India finished second last year. But this time they have finished first. So the answer is Indian Railways it has won the World Railway Shooting Championship Cup. So this is an important uh, important uh, award and they can also ask you where did this take place this championship took place in france who has been awarded uh, with international prize in statistics uh, for the year 2016 it is a very famous british statistician sir david cox sir david cox and which is the first indian city to host fifa under 17 world cup so the names are yet to be disclosed but one city has been finally you know it has been finalized officially declared that this city will host matches of FIFA under 17 World Cup which will take place in India and this city which has been finalized is Kochi Kochi in Kerala. Now India has signed an agreement with Russia all weather friend to lease second class nuclear attack submarine which is called SSN in short what is the name of this nuclear attack submarine the name is Akula second class akula second class and this lease india will pay to russia two billion dollars for leasing this just imagine if the rent is two billion what would have been the price of this india and which other country they did a army exercise a military exercise at ladakh uh, so which country is this this exercise was called sino india cooperation 2016 so sino word we always use for china so the answer is china by the way, India and China also conduct another exercise which is called hand in hand. Who of the following, which of these four people was appointed as the Chief Information Commissioner of Odisha? CIC, Chief Information Commissioner of Odisha. Uh, which of these four people uh, was, uh, you know, was appointed? So the name is, he is a retired bureaucrat by the way, SK Mishra, Sunil Kumar Mishra. Name the state that in October 2016 cancelled affiliation of 68 intermediate colleges for not following the rules for not fulfilling the norms criteria. So which state in India has cancelled the recognition of 68 intermediate colleges? This good decision was taken by the Chief Minister of Bihar, Nitish Kumar. So the answer to this question is Bihar. What is voice.net that was recently in news? Voice.net. So voice.net it is a government website. And it is a first ever global conference on water education. So it is a global knowledge network called voice.net. Department of Biotechnology scientists, they have fortified which cereal with iron to ensure the problem of anemia is at rest. See, anemia is a huge, huge issue, especially in countries where the diet is not very healthy like India. Most of the women in India, they suffer from anemia. Anemia is what? Anemia is the deficiency of hemoglobin or deficiency of RBCs in our blood. NCRT definition is percentage loss of hemoglobin is called anemia. So in anemia, you know, you will have less hemoglobin. Therefore, the oxygen will not be transferred from one area to another and you will feel weakness. You will have pale skin, etc. So anemia, at least iron deficiency anemia. There are a lot of anemia like microcytic anemia, folic acid deficiency anemia. But the most prevalent is iron deficiency anemia. And anemia is more common in women because of menstruation, because of periods. They lose blood. And because of that, there is deficiency of RBCs and consequently hemoglobin. So, Department of Biotechnology scientists have added iron to rice to prevent this problem. NGT is National Green Tribunal. National Green Tribunal, it has castigated, it has uh, banned spending on Ganga in which state? Not only it, ha it has banned the spending, but um, it has advised the government of this state not to waste money, you know, uh, because... Uh, on the name of clean Ganga, you can waste any amount of money and it will be unaccounted for. So this state is Uttar Pradesh. National Green Tribunal has warned Uttar Pradesh government not to waste money on the clean Ganga campaign. 
विच एफ्रीकन कंट्री हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट कंट्री टू विदड्रॉ फ्रॉम द इंटरनेशनल क्रिमिनल कोर्ट विच कंट्री हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट कंट्री टू विदड्रॉ फ्रॉम द इंटरनेशनल क्रिमिनल कोर्ट एंड दिस कंट्री इज बुरुंडी इट इज अ स्मॉल कंट्री इन एफ्रीका नेम द कंपनी दैट विल कमीशन टू पावर प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑफ 710 मेगावाट इन अरुणाचल प्रदेश इन 2017 टू प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑफ 710 मेगावाट दीज आर ह्यूज प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड दीज द नेम ऑफ दिस कंपनी इज एनईपीसीओ व्हिच इज द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न पावर कॉर्पोरेशन यू नो द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न पावर कॉर्पोरेशन लिमिटेड इन शॉर्ट एनईपीसीओ एपीजे अब्दुल कलाम इग्नाइट अवार्ड वाज बेस्टोर्ड ऑन अ 13 ईयर ओल्ड पर्सन फ्रॉम छत्तीसगढ़ व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट पर्सन एपीजे अब्दुल कलाम इग्नाइट अवार्ड ignite award because he has written a book called ignited minds and this 13 year old boy is called roshan sori he is from chatisgarh and basically he he is he is from sukma district which is a naxal affected district and he has been honored with apj abdul kalam ignite award because he built a software that can register a vote through the electronic voting machine where is the headquarter of world boxing organization so indian boxing council which gives the license to the indian boxers became a signatory or it you know it it was included in the world boxing organization and therefore this question becomes important the headquarter is in pons puerto rico meva ram gobin recently passed away and uh, meva ram gobin was a very famous activist social reformer gandhian activist of which country so meva ram gobin was from south africa The 28th edition of Accountants General Conference was started in which city of India? It was the 28th Accountants General Conference. It started in which city of India? So it started in New Delhi. Again, New Delhi. So there have been a lot of questions to, uh, you know, whom the answer is New Delhi. A super typhoon. There was a typhoon which struck Philippines. It was the strongest typhoon in the last three years in Philippines. What was the name? It uh, struck Philippines yesterday. The name is Haima. Haima. There is a book called The Adivasi Will Not Dance. It has been written by which famous author? Adivasi Will Not Dance, and this book, in fact, is very good. It has been sent uh, for the prestigious Hindu Prize. It has been nominated, shortlisted, and uh, this book is written by Hans the Soender Shekhar, H S Shekhar. So these were the best, you know, multiple choice questions from this week. and uh, if you have any doubt please feel free to ask me you can call me email me whatsapp me facebook me i am omnipresent and uh, as i said uh, during the course of the video i asked you certain questions and i expect the answers to be written by you if you like the video please share i am very happy with the response the english audience is giving me the second week uh, video in october received more english views than hindi views so thanks for that